Hi you guys! Today I'm going to show you how to unlock your phone if you've forgotten your passcode on your iPhone. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the only real way to get back into your iPhone if you've forgotten your passcode is to erase everything. You're basically just going to want to wipe its content and then restore from your backup. If you haven't backed up your iPhone, this is going to be a little bit unfortunate for you because you won't be able to do a backup now that you can't get back into it. So unfortunately, what you'll have to do is wipe its contents and then just start from scratch. Enter in all of your previous information, contacts, apps, music, you name it. But maybe let it serve as a reminder to do uh, monthly backups. If you have done a backup, then restoring all of your old data is going to be super easy and it's going to be the next step after you wipe everything. So I'm going to go over two methods with you. I'm going to go through the finder method and then the, and the find my iPhone way as well. You'll find different people telling you different things all over the internet, like how you can use third-party apps to get back into your iPhone. I personally don't trust these third-party apps and Android Authority doesn't really speak on behalf of those. I think the safest, most reliable way is to use the methods that Apple supplies and talks about. Another thing you can do is call Apple support if you need to get in to your um, iPhone and see if they can help you in any other way. But for this video, let's just jump right into the methods that I'm gonna show you. So for this first method, you're going to need your iPhone and you're also gonna need your MacBook. If you had a Windows computer, you could also do this through iTunes but I only have a MacBook Air, so I'm gonna show you how to do it with that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to wanna make sure of is that your phone is connected to your laptop. Depending on what phone you have, you may have to use a different cord than I'm using. Once that's connected, you're gonna go down to the finder in the bottom left corner of your screen, and you're gonna open that up. And then you're gonna scroll down until you find under locations, you're gonna find your iPhone and you're gonna click on that. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks, and let's get back to the video. And then it's gonna bring up all of the information that it has on your current phone. And so here is where you're going to find when your latest backup was. So as you can see underneath my backups, it's letting me know that I have never backed up on this Mac before. So I, if I were to restore my phone, I'd have to start from scratch. I wouldn't have anything to back up from. And then this is where you realize how helpful that these backups really are because if I had backed up, then I could just simply go back onto my laptop and download all of the information that I previously had on this iPhone. Um, regardless, we're gonna go back up to the top and we're going to restore iPhone. So when I click this, I'm going to follow the prompts on the screen. And as I said, if I hadn't backed up before, it's gonna ask me if I want to back up. Then it's just going to ask if you're sure that you want to restore your phone. It's gonna let you know. It's just going to restore all of it back to its factory settings. Um, it's gonna let me know that all of the media and other data that I have on this phone is gonna be erased. And the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed, um, et cetera, et cetera. And if I did want to restore an update, I would just select this here and it would begin that for me. So there is one catch to the previous method I showed you, and that's um, it's really likely that your iPhone is going to ask you if you trust the computer you're plugging it into. And in order to trust that computer, you'll have to enter your passcode. And if you've forgotten it, then obviously you can't do that. So in that case, then you'll want to revert to this next method I'm gonna show you, and it's the find my devices in iCloud. And to get here, you're just simply going to search find my in iCloud, and, um, and you're gonna sign in. So you'll need your Apple ID to sign in. So you'll enter your email or phone number for your Apple ID. So once I'm logged in, I'm gonna find my devices here, and I'll find my iPhone, I'll click on it, and it's gonna bring up all of the information. It's gonna bring up the location of my device, how much battery it has, etc. And then at the very bottom, I can erase this device. When I click that, it's gonna make sure that I do want to actually erase it. And I'm just gonna follow the prompts on the screen if I do. Then that iPhone is erased and I can restore uh, my information once again through the finder on my Mac. If you had a Windows, it would be through iTunes. 
if you're fine, my iPhone wasn't on in your settings, then it wouldn't show up on your computer either. And so I'm going to show you quickly how to do this. Maybe you've never been shown how or you didn't even know it existed until now. Because when you purchase an iPhone, it doesn't automatically turn on. You have to go in and manually turn that on. But it's a really, really great feature to have on. And I'll show you why. So we're going to go into our settings. And you can either search um, Find My or you can go into your iCloud and click on it, but you're just gonna go into Find My iPhone. So when that Find My iPhone is turned off, you'll see no options beneath here. And so I'll turn it on here. Um, and then now beneath this, we have this option here, Find My Network. This basically just lets you find it even if it's not connected to a network and it's offline. Then beneath this is Send Last Location. I always have this one on, it's super, super helpful. It automatically sends the last location of this iPhone to Apple when the battery is critically low. So now that all of these are on, your phone will show up in the Find My iPhone on your laptop and you can erase it that way. The next method I'm gonna show you guys is to use recovery mode. This is similar to the iTunes method or the Finder method that I showed you before. Um, however, this method doesn't require that you enter your passcode. So if that first method didn't work for you, this is gonna be um, a really helpful one for you to try. First, you're going to hold down the power button and the volume button. So you're gonna press and hold, and this is gonna bring up the slide to power off option. So you'll slide to power off, and then you're going to prepare to plug your phone into your laptop. But before doing that, you're going to hold the side button and plug in as well. Right, so when I hold this and plug this in at the same time, you're gonna have this option pop up here. Automatically, this is gonna pop up here. There's a problem with this iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. And then this is where you'll find that restore option. You can select and it's gonna wipe your phone so that you can either use that backup that you had previously on your laptop to put your information back on it, or you start from scratch. So once your phone is restored, you will be prompted to create a new passcode or password. And once that is created, you can always go back into your settings to change it. Um, and to do this, you're gonna go into your settings and scroll down to face ID and passcode. And so you'll enter the passcode that you just created. Um, and here's where you have a bunch of different options. So depending on which iPhone you have, you have that face ID option that you can turn on or off. You can reset your face ID. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll find the passcode option. You can turn the passcode off or change the passcode. And when you click that, you have to enter your current passcode first, followed by your new passcode. You'll enter that twice and then you've got a new passcode. So if you have the face ID option, I would recommend uh, turning your passcode off and just using the face ID option. You can also change your passcode to something easier to remember, just so that you don't have to go through these same steps in the future. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. Hopefully these methods answered your questions. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.